<laughs> already, already, man. We're back. We're back. Another week, Real Spit Radio. I'm your host, K-Mac Knockville. And this your girl, Tammy Too Much. Man, this your boy, E.B. Neiman, the voice of the voices in the building, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, we want to welcome everybody back, man. Uh, it's a lot that went on this week. This week had a good week, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to, I just want to say one thing. Shout out to my man, the, the comedian, actor, Pierre. Yeah, Yo, he gave a dope ass show at the Comedy Factory. Man, dude had me in stitches. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, yo. I'm shout still out to him. not over. I'm not I've over. I've been either. telling that joke ever <laughs> since. So, he's sick of all you twenty-something year old women coming in there talking about, "Ooh, my body bad. I'm fine. My body bad. You ain't had no chilling." <laughs> no you chance. ain't had no surgeries. You ain't finished college. You ain't done nothing yet. <laughs> you ain't nothing but an unpopped bag of popcorn. <laughs> Yo, he oh. killed that. <laughs> <laughs> so that might have been, that must was the part where I was failing my drink because I don't remember that part. You don't? Mm-mm. Oh, my what goodness. What the hell? We was talking about the unpopped bag of popcorn ever since he said it. Listen, I had a lot to drink. What was your favorite part of the show? Other than the drinks. The drinks. The drinks was my favorite part. He was funny as bitch. Don't get me wrong. I just, my brain was so cloudy. If I tried to recite a joke, (laughs) it would be fucked up and I wouldn't tell his joke right. Yeah, that's what what they say. Eddie Eddie Murphy said that. You go to work and tell my joke and fuck the joke up. (laughs) Sorry if we fucked the joke up. Nah, I'm not gonna mess up nobody's <laughs> jokes. I, I think I, I told the joke right. I think you did. I you think probably you, did. You, you probably that, did. The, the I told part. the I told the quick version. Right. That was cool. Yeah. I know I want some more of them drinks. Them drinks was nice. <laughs> they, they were good. They were good. They was like, all right. Where did I get a pineapple? B- My crab cake was good, but it was mad. Man, you got the same thing. It was mad little, something something like that. But it It was delicious. That made me so mad, G. And the pineapple made it nutritious. Yeah. So I always say when I drink, I drink healthy. (laughs) Because it's always from the juices that you. It's always some good, hundred percent fruit juices in my drink. Well, my crab cake was good, but it was little, and I was so pissed off, like because. Yeah, they chop. It's not even about that, but the crab cake, it was lump and all that in there. It was a good crab cake. And they gave you one lump. Two two nice good forkfuls of it, and it was done. I was so mad, yo. Wow. It was delicious, though. Well, I had the catfish, and it was okay. It could have been better. It tasted really rocky. It smelled, it tastes like catfishy. Catfishy. Fishy, fishy. It was real Lexington marketing. Fishy woo woo. Yeah. Marketing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fishy woo woo. <laughs> it smelled like woo, a water woo, woo. Go ahead, y'all. <laughs> y'all he didn't hear what I said. That's what, <laughs> what did he say? What did you say? I said it smelled like a Baltimore rap shit. Oh. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I wouldn't know that, bro. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Uh listen, I'm, I'm down, not, there that, you go. Down there. Because I ain't I don't know nothing about none of them. They all good with me. I, I'm not right, they all good with me, so I didn't say you that. heard it from him. Have you, have you now I would just like to clarify I wasn't that close enough in that area to smell it. The stench was just that strong that I smelt it. <laughs> Oh no, I don't do no. Mm-mm. No, no. I got a couple on my radar though. It's a couple on the list. <laughs> but I uh one I'm just recently got on there and the other one been on there for about four years. I just... See, I don't have nothing to do with this. How about you, Diamond? Oh. What? What? Have you smelled any? <laughs> what? <laughs> I know Dow does. Good say, good yeah. say. Girl, are you the bomb? Are you the bomb, girl? 
<laughs> Dominique, I don't even want to know who. Listen, we can talk no. about this after the show. <laughs> this is an after the. This is a behind the scenes of Rosebud Radio conversation. All right. Anyway. <laughs> wow. Man. You the man, son. I'm trying to be like you when I grow up. Mm-mm-mm. So you ain't light today enough. on Real Sp- <laughs> Hey, hey. You're not light enough and your hair is gone. <laughs> you had some waves in there somewhere. Listen, bald head is in. It, yeah. I know. It's popping right now. <laughs> Shit, I know that he's in that. <laughs> I know that. I'm just saying, the, the one that Diamond got, they love hair. They can play on my They love head. his pretty hair. Bruce Lee head motherfucker. <laughs> Diamond, be quiet. Shut your mouth. You mean it this time? <laughs> Two Damn, years you know, ago. Is there someone that you that you trying to like be with like that for the rest of your life? Because you know, getting married is for the rest of your life. <laughs> you only supposed to do it one he time. He said, "I'm only going to do it one time." <laughs> you only supposed to do it one time. I- yeah, look, I'm with you, Diamond. But for the next two years, that's not true. You're supposed we to get have married a joint once. Wedding, Diamond. And we it's gonna have death a, do you part. Yeah, we gonna have a joint wedding. <laughs> Me and that. Da- well, you f- talk about you, man. No, okay. I just listen. <laughs> there you go. That's it. Listen. Then I'm I'm the uh at, at what. I'm the I'm the I'm the what? To the rule. I'm the what to the rule. To the rule. Exception. I'm the what? I'm the exception to the rule. Because this will be my second time. Oh, well, yeah. yeah, I mean, but it What? I was engaged before. I'll be up. <laughs> you broke the engagement <laughs> off, Donna? I cannot believe it. Okay, she did. <laughs> I've been engaged twice, Donna, so don't pay no mind. Why you look at me like that? <laughs> twice. I ain't been engaged to you. Oh goodness, I was engaged twice. <laughs> what the hell was engaged to Newman? He said what? Uh, the first, the the first time I put her out, and the second time it was mutual. So you put her out? So that ended it. Like when she came home, the locks was changed. Like, wow. She ain't um, make the bed or some shit. It was something. She wasn't. No, 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 I don't. No, I don't. Not when you, no, not when you know the locksmith. That's don't take no time. You waited for her to get up to go to work that morning at seven o'clock, and you was like, "Son, she gone." Yeah, that is that's some dumb, that's some villain shit for your ass. Wow, he's terrible. Listen, that's my little brother. It's crazy. <laughs> So Night this, and day. on Friday we'll have a new president. How y'all feel about that? Man, can I say this? Can I say this on Radio on Five? This real Man, fuck radio. That you can nigga. say whatever you want. <laughs> fuck that nigga. How y'all know. feel about Steve <laughs> Harvey though? Listen, no, he gonna only make it two. Let me let me tell you the real plot. The Republicans have no desire to have that stupid motherfucker be president. They just know that he gonna get in there and do something done. Then they can hurry up and get rid of his ass. And the motherfucker they really want to be president is his vice president. So they gonna get his ass out of there. He's a racist. Don't nobody want the vice president or the president elect. Nobody wants them. I mean, let's be clear. They really wanted the vice president, who's who's Trump's vice president. Uh, I'm. That's your opinion. You talking? Don't nobody. I'm praying for the better. That is. I met a lot of people, a lot of women that said, oh, no, women can't be president. Like, even women was like. I've heard that. Well, that's just because they, you know, women got a natural hate and jealousy in their soul. Ooh, just, she wake up on a cycle that day, boy. I think Hillary Trump was, is on his cycle every day. If you tweet yeah, something is about. too old. She don't have a cycle anymore. Damn. She had a cycle. Yeah, she mm-hmm. had a cycle. I'm just, I'm just really happy that I lived to see a black president. Something that I never, ever thought I would see. Listen, but you know who ever. I feel bad for? I feel bad for the next black president. 
Cause Barack set that ball so goddamn high, you gon' you gon' have to come in and give niggas reparations. <laughs> you gon' have to come. Who in. do you think it's gonna be, Kanye West? <laughs> cause he running in twenty twenty. It's gonna be it's gonna be Ti, cause he think he is just definitely crazy. not him. Corey Booker. I like him. I like him. He if they don't kill his ass first. Hey, a little, hey, a little reckless. Well, that'll be dope. I hope I get to see another one in my lifetime. Yeah, I think listen, I want Corey Holcomb can't no, to be listen, the president. Can't no dark skinned black dude be president? It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. I'm glad he was not president. Jesse Jackson. Mm -hmm. Uh I want everybody to know that we have to jogatize <laughs> <laughs> in in what we have going on here. I just can't stand the way he talks. Like, <laughs> you can just say, it just sound like I a stopped, bunch of bullshit. I never he really was, like he I lying never really fuck with Jesse because yeah, it's always sound like he lying. But then when they had him on the thing when Obama was running and he was talking shit about Obama. <laughs> So, like, why was you? He hit one. No, he was. He he was still live. And somebody was, and the film and the camera was still rolling. And he said, "He said that, yeah, <laughs> fuck that nigga." And then had a oh so. <laughs> And, and then had a nerve to be all at the motherfucking right. celebration crying. crying. You was just mad because it wasn't you. You hate you, bitch. Exactly. <laughs> he is a, That's a hater. What? What? Or why I cut that? I never heard a man say off. that. That's, That's some gay ass something shit. Something a woman would say. Y'all know. Y'all know Jesse. Jesse. It was, you know, Jesse he was like kind of quiet with his son's scandal, though, wasn't he? He quiet about his about his about he knocking that girl. When he then he had to go girl baby uh, mother and shit. A young yep. girl too. Uh huh. Oh, oh girl, that it feels so good to me. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> now what I want you to do is put your leg up further. <laughs> Don't stop there. <laughs> Listen, Jesse. Jesse now now babies. put your toes on the dresser. <laughs> Don't stop there. <laughs> Yo, do y have y'all heard the Al Sharpton commercial? What? Yeah. We shall on. not be moved. Yeah. We <laughs> shall not be moved. February to <laughs> meet it. Everybody is at the. Let me see. Yo, listen. He's trying to organize some uh, some Yo, rally that, where everybody buddy. goes down that to was, Washington. That, was, um, that they already did. They that. already did that. Yeah. So he, he's like, I'll guess next week has footage on it. So listen, so they get, yeah, they raced our boy time. Right? Yeah, he's, mm -hmm. so he goes. Got a big one that's right is it one? Yeah, I'm on it's Saturday. It's the Million Woman March Saturday. Yeah. Oh, you need to be in that. <laughs> you and all the. Uh huh. Man, who? What you telling? <laughs> I'm going down DC, boy. I'm going down. I'm gonna be fresh as a whole down DC. I'm trying to tell you. Going he right going down there. Wrong shit. You can tell. You can tell. Yeah, he just. Yeah, he just. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's some Baltimore <laughs> shit. Man. Hey, I love my city, so it's all good, man. I just don't like some of the motherfuckers in it. Yes, <laughs> we are. I love my city. I just hate a lot of motherfuckers in it. I'm sorry. It is. What it is. A lot of people in it make it bad. <laughs> wow. I don't, I don't, I don't, I just heard, I, I don't hate any of them. I just dislike a lot of people's ways. And I'm not going to just say Baltimore people. All right, let me just be real. I just, this people change. I dislike our people. You don't even get a chance to change the Baltimore. For me, I don't care one way or the other. Yeah. I don't have to see you every day. You don't pay my bills. You're not my employer. I don't care. Right. I don't even see my mother every day. She's in a different state. <laughs> right. 
Okay, I just you know people. No, nah, I mean people. it's good people here. It's it's real. You know good what I think we here, all should though. do? It's good people. I think if you got a problem with somebody, we should just box it out. I think we should like Chris Brown and, and speaking of boxing, box it out. Oh yeah, speaking Shout of boxing, out to Tank. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, see, that's one familiar, of the good ones. And if you're not familiar who Tank is, Javante Davis, the youngest. Yo, you see how he rocked that no, boy up. The youngest world champion the youngest. in boxing, fresh out of Baltimore. Stand up for b more. You got to salute this little nigga, man. Huh? When the last time we had a world champion? When we had Haseem Rockman. Yeah. I mean, yeah. not even that, because he wasn't a real champion. I think he just got lucky. Why you mean? Oh. I he got lucky. He still he got won. lucky. He still won. Yeah, he got a lucky punch, and he be beat Lennox, and then he, he went was... right back, and Lennox beat the brakes off his motherfucking ass. Boy, that <laughs> nigga had two he had heads. That, he had that hematoma <laughs> on his shit. <laughs> Listen, Yo. that's a, hold on, that's some Baltimore shit, because they don't even call that a hematoma. Like anytime you see somebody. <laughs> Fucked up like that, they be like, "Nigga Yo. got that rock mon on his head, son." <laughs> <laughs> Fuck around a rock mon that, that nigga was said. Huge, that like a. His head was. On oh the yeah, that was bad. He was he bad. That was bad. But Did shout you? out to him for doing it though. Listen. Burn on ain't fall, man. He got pushed. <laughs> what y'all talking about? He ain't getting knocked out the But he no, got it's still howling that shit too. Yeah. <laughs> if you if you wanted to take me, he pushed me. <laughs> you, can see, you, can you can clearly see me speak because I love the fight. <laughs> I love the fight. So you can tell you can tell he push me when, when you ride the tape back. Look at the tape. Look at the tape. <laughs> Look at the tape. He pushed me. And then my foot got caught in his foot, and, and we both fell. Listen, <laughs> nigga said we it, both fell. <laughs> if it wasn't, <laughs> <laughs> that nigga fell right into your championship. <laughs> But look, Javante hey, almost uh, knocked dude out the ring too. Had his legs yes. not caught the he bottom almost was rope. Gone. He almost was the, gone. He was out the ring and his legs went up and hit the ropes. That's the only thing saved his life. No, 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 no. Did you see? Did you see how yo when he came, when he came back up and he just put his hands on his arms like, ain't this a bitch? This little nigga just rocked me, man. No, <laughs> that nigga, was and nigga still counting. He like, man, fuck. That was get up when I feel like it. That dude. was just that was just hoping the referee stopped the fight. Like right, let me right. stay right here long enough to let the referee. Just you gonna stop it before I, I do? I gotta stand up. Nigga, <laughs> 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 you gonna have to go to this whole ten for I'm not trying to go back out there and fight that man. Wow. But yeah, salute them. Hold on, but before we, uh, I, was proud, I, was proud of I was definitely <laughs> proud. But let me tell you. What tank interview? Yeah. What he say, yo? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's good tank. Oh. Oh. Oh no! Oh. Like green eggs and ham, Sam. I am. He might have been tired. Oh, okay. But he me, might was tired. He was in shock. Come on, man. He was. Well, he, but he was he shocked. Might shocked. Probably, you he know, might have probably was so much going on at that Listen, time. Listen, because let me tell you how deep Baltimore was up there when he won the fight. If you could, you can hear in the background of the telecast the crowd going, "Be more, be more," like. That's how deep Baltimore was up there to show love. But let me talk about these people. Let me talk about these people on, on social media. All of you hateful motherfuckers who was mad that people was posting about Tank and showing their support. Like, oh, now everybody, everybody in the city know him. No, motherfucker. We don't know him. Everybody ain't his friend. But we was proud of a motherfucker that come from the same streets we come from. We was proud of a motherfucker who came from nothing, just like we worked, all are. Worked his way, worked, worked his, his way up, off. and now he's oh, yes, <laughs> been in the same hacks and the same corner stores, and now he's on Showtime and he's a world champion and he's on the money team and he's twenty two years, years old. old. Some bullshit. of you bitches 
is 22. He ain't out with, here selling drugs. With 22, with five kids, and the only win you got he is in paternity court. Yo, said the only win you got is in paternity court. The only court. wins you got in your life is in paternity court. This nigga's dumb, yo. <laughs> and, and... <laughs> Thanks. See, there we go. Diamond K got two. I bet you you ain't got more than Diamond K paternity cases. Because you lost, you lost the rest of them cases, you hateful motherfucker. Yeah, that's just crazy. Like, y'all, I just never... That's... Y'all some hateful motherfuckers. Y'all was Y'all wasn't mad at him. You was mad at the people happy for the motherfucker. Boy, bless. That's... That's how hateful you are. When he won, when he won dick ride. Listen, I see. Listen, th- all right. Rock. So listen, I saw these posts too before the fight. Shit, y'all all keep talking about he will knock that nigga out. He fuck around, go up that bitch and lose. He can't even come back home. Guess what? He could come back home, motherfucker. He on the money team. Your bi- your broke ass is on. Your broke ass is on section eight. And getting food stamps, and that motherfucker is on the money team. Like, you know, with motherfuckers that got money, they not waiting for the orange card to hit. Like, boy, as soon as my card hit. Regardless, he went there. If he would have lost, he, why wouldn't he come back home? He got that far. What the fuck? That's some dumb ass shit. Shout out to my man, the boy, Bless. DJ Steve, what's happening, brother? We see y'all. <laughs> Listen, long as, <laughs> long as long as he ain't start the interview off in classic Baltimore fashion, like fuck it is, dummy. Y'all seen how I knocked that nigga out? Like Don't long he as bless. he ain't do that shit. Don't he bless? He stay going in. It'd be like, yo. Bless say yo. he stay going in, yo. Yo, fuck it is, dummy. You see how I knocked it? Don't do that. He didn't do that. <laughs> Listen, he represented What the did he well. say when he did his interview, though? I'm going to have to watch it. Tyson, yo. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm 22. Last year, I was twenty-one. <laughs> oh. 50 Tyson. He said, sound like 50, 50 Tyson. Tyson. I'm done. Yo. Listen. <laughs> y'all, y'all know who 50 Tyson is? Yeah. Listen. No. All I'm saying is... He held his own. He did his thing. He represented the city Shout out well. to Tank Real Spit, Real Spit Radio. Salute you, brother. Keep doing this. Shout out to Coach uh, Kenny Ellis. That's my big homie. And Coach Calvin. They my big homies right there. Yeah, and they always do their thing. So, Absolutely. Man. And Devin the Butcher was here a couple weeks ago. Right, man. Come on, yeah. man. So, listen. Kill me. Butcher, you up next, son. You up <laughs> next. Devin, you up next. Devin definitely up next, man. Go. <laughs> Steve say chip. <laughs> All right, y'all. Make sure y'all stay connected crazy, with son. us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at Radio on Fire for your chances to win prizes and surprises. We about to go to commercial break. When we come back, we're going to talk about what's happening today in hip-hop. And we have our guests in the building, so we'll be right back. Guanaco. Guanaco King. Guanaco King. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Daryl, chill, King. yo. <laughs> we got Daryl. Daryl just, he making this bad for us and shit. He just laughing at his shit. His name is Guanaco King. Right? Yeah. All right, we got it. <laughs>